So here's our little bucket test, and we have over here the stopwatch, here the power monitor, here an analog dial thermometer that's reading around about the top third, uh, an alcohol based analog temperature sensor that's reading the water, which is from the tap here is about 12 degrees. I've got a photo of that. And here's a 3 kilowatt heater uh, in our uh, bucket. And if I show you, we have a little standoff here, uh, which is our don't stand so close to me thing that stops it from touching the side down there and keeps all the convection nice. So, what we're going to do is plug it in and uh, see uh, what happens. So, I'm going to reset this. And, ready? Uh, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> what you might notice is that the thermometer over here only reads down to about 10 degrees C so that's very close to the bottom the actual temperature of the water as it came out of the tap You can actually quite clearly see that the heating element is just in the sort of curled, curved part. I'm just going to go and show you that. So, if you go here, you can see where the heating element is actually doing the heating, which is in the loop there. And not on the stem. of this experiment is? Well, this is to see how long it takes to heat this bucket of water to 60 degrees um, so that we have kind of a, like a very, very rough baseline um, before we do something much more accurate. Um, compared to sparging steam from the Aura reactor into the same bucket with the same 16 litres of water that it has in it. So you can see it's reading 2.97 kilowatts there. It's very close to its 3 kilowatt rating. Actually see a bit of rise actually already on the uh, Big fat dial. Let's uh, focus on that. We're at 18 C now. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking at the alcohol, and that's reading at about 15, 16 C in the lower part of the vessel. That goes to show how much it's important to be mixing it. So when it gets a little bit further up, we can give that a stir, so perhaps we have some spatulas in the drawer we can give it a good stir with. Stone here. Dum da dum. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Of course, I can hear everyone saying, Why don't you get a magnetic stirrer? Well, we might do. <laughs> Just not now. So, if we look at 
the math involved, 16 kilograms of water. Mm -hmm. Every kilowatt second is a kilojoule, which will warm at one sixteenth of a degree. So every 16 seconds, no, we're at 3 kilowatts. Yeah, someone can have a bath after this. We need not waste the water. Yeah. <laughs> not that we're doing this in a bathroom, of course. This is in a very uh, high-end lab, as you can tell. <laughs> By the high-end <laughs> control panel. <laughs> C. We warmed up 10 degrees C in five minutes. And the stirring is really happening because we're getting a similar reading on the alcohol. Now, we're going to lose... Should we grab another alcohol thermometer just to do sample points? Because we, 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 we haven't got to... Because of our foam, we can't read between about 30 degrees and 55 degrees. You'll have to slide it up a little bit. Yeah. Well, it, no, then its buoyancy is wrong. <laughs> Oh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get an extra thermometer. I'll I'll let Ryan take over the stirring responsibility. There's a lot of convection happening. It's stirring itself pretty well. We let nature take over. Convection's a beautiful thing at the right time. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to take this other thermometer, which I have here, and drop this in here for spot checking. What do we see? So I'm going to do some spot checking here, like so, right at the top here above our heater. We're seeing, oh, I don't know, thirty-two, thirty-three degrees C, and down here where the other thermometer is, we are seeing. About 32 degrees at the moment, which is pretty close to the other one. So, can you, should we have that? Something to put that on there. It's going to roll off there. No, I'm going to put it down there. Low center of gravity. <laughs> so, I was off by the factor of four. I was getting my BTUs anyway. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, so it takes 4.18 kilojoules to heat a kilogram one degree 4.18 times 16 about 65 kilojoules to heat that bucket one degree we're delivering three kilojoules a second, so mm -hmm. it should be about 20 seconds per degree. Mm -hmm. But we were seeing 30, so my math might not be to enough decimal points in my head at this hour. Ballpark. It took 10 minutes, no, it took 10 degrees in 5 minutes. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll keep a bit more storage going on here. Thirty-five in eight and a half minutes. So if the rate is higher than it appeared last time I commented on it. It 
So, what was the maximum Mi-356 is expecting to be putting into his reactor? It's in the 12 kilowatt range, isn't it? No, the maximum oh, input. The in input is 2 kilowatts, I believe he said. Okay, so if we see the same rate of rise as this, we maybe have... Um, we've got, we know we've got 2 kilowatts in... Yep. Then we've got a COP of 1.5, approximately. Because mm -hmm. this is basically 3 kilowatts. So. As we approach 10 minutes here, we'll take a look. Okay. And there, so, on the big fat dial, it's looking at around about, what's that? 36, 37 nearly. And on here, I can't see, it's off the scale. Oh no, it's 37 degrees. There you go. That's the value of stirring. <laughs> yeah. Where's, where's our spot tech checker? Let's so check. we're right on, right on target. <laughs> So our spot checker is near to the other one. is reading around about 38 now. Maybe we can get that on camera. That's well, going to cool down, isn't it, silly me? Well, it's not cooling down that box. Uh, let's get it over there for a second. So you're getting up to 40 degrees over there. 40 degrees and 10 minutes and 45 minus. If we wait till 42, then it's 30 degree rise. You might want to say that again because it just split the video file. Okay, so somewhere here you can see uh, 40 degrees, that's 38. Flip back in. Does it go quick, quickly yeah. down? Now we're about 42 oh. degrees in 11 minutes. So that's a 30 degree rise in 11 minutes. So that's about 20 degrees per, or 20 seconds per degree, which is what the best accurate estimate is. So that's saying around about 43. And on here, if I can get it quick enough, is it going to do it? Oh, where is it? Oh no, I'm all in the wrong place. It's cooled down already. Too close. Let's try do that again. Good news is Alan will be able to make lots of tea. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to let it go to 100. No. So let's try this. I've got to try and do this quicker because it cools down pretty quick. Do you have another US converter? Ready, ready, ready. Oh, and tap. What have we got? 43, 40. And we got something around about that. So that's our spot check. Ooh, blink. Mm, a bit of storage. Let's put some storage in there. Now you might actually be able to see some some water vapor coming up here at the moment. Yeah. A little bit too vigorous with my stirring there. Safe zone. Got it supported over there by this piece of wire that stops the thermometer travelling towards the heater element. So it's not like sitting on the heater element. So yeah, there's a bit of water vapor going on in here, I have to say. Um, I'll fix that a little bit stronger. This is not moving. Bang, 
to me, I think. Okay. So we're approaching 50 degrees here, uh, and around about 14 and a half minutes. You may just be able to see some water vapour coming off the top of that. Because that's actually heat. cooling it down. That's a lot of heat loss. Mm -hmm. So, so if we're using the same bucket with the same amount of surface area in roughly the same ambient conditions, this is this will serve as an approximate calibration of it. Yeah. You know, if, if there's ten kilowatts going in instead of three kilowatts, I think it will be very, very obvious. Yes. <laughs> Soon we should start seeing the uh, water temperature coming above the 55 degree mark on the uh, laboratory alcohol based thermometer. Oh no, it's going to start steaming up this <laughs> display here in a minute. Something to think about. Yeah, I can just see the bead coming up it's around about 53 or something. Well, we could just pop that off and hang it over the front. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's a bit almost over the, yeah. the heater element, that's the only problem. We'll think about that if we have to film yeah. it. Again. We're up to 55. We are up to 55, we're nearly at our target, 60 degrees centigrade. Let's go to 62, so it's been 50 degree rise. Very good. It makes the math easy. Very good. One of us is thinking. I think it's the chocolate. It's you you had the other bit, didn't you? I only ate half of it. Oh. <laughs> that makes me feel bad now, because I ate a whole piece. <laughs> That's okay, you got to dry it. <laughs> right, so I can see 56 now, 57 on the uh, alcohol thermometer. Nearly 60. Starting to steam up on the alcohol thermometer now. 58, 59 on the alcohol. Yeah, 58 on the It's actually now quite warm to put my finger in there. <laughs> yeah, it's a good, good temperature to keep to. I can change angles and I get slightly. Now I see 58 there. Uh -huh. Bit of parallax going on, eh? Yeah. We, we, we should have had a digital thermometer in our instrument, digital instrument panel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the alcohol thermometer is reading over 60 now. 
We're at 59. I'm going to do a spot check. Approaching 60. Wow, that goes in nice and quickly now. It's to 50. I think you must be getting close to 62 there now. Yeah, 62 on the alcohol over there. This one's lagging a degree behind, I think. Okay, and it's 61 and a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 62. Okay, yeah, alright, so there we are. Okay, 19 minutes and 37 seconds, approximately. So, I'm going to stop that. We reached about 60 yeah, degrees. And unplug it. There we go. Mission accomplished. Ta da! There we go. Bucket is still intact. You can see some water vapour there. It's all something to bear in mind. Plenty of bubble, even bubbles on the sides. So there's bubbles being sort of bubbles everywhere. And there we go. So it's actually. It's ending up here at 64 so far. Mm hmm. The alcohol looks. Can you read the alcohol there? 62 over there. So it's a little bit warmer. There's, there's some stratification going on since I stopped stirring. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's give it a stir. La -da -da. Da -da -da. These are all little practicalities of a live test that's good to practice. Very simple principles. Tricky to get right in the real world. <laughs> okay. It's down to 63. Yeah. Dropped a bit. The other one's probably up a degree now. It is up a degree. <laughs> okay, alright, good. Uh, thank you for watching.